What's up everybody? Uh, today we got a 2018 uh, Polaris RZR 1000 Turbo. Uh, somebody's we got to do the bearings on, so we're going to show you how to replace those. There is a lot of videos of this being done, but we found a different way to press out the bearing, or I should say press in the bearing, uh, if you don't have a press. We don't have one, so this is what we're doing. Uh, I'll show you step by step anyways, but uh, here we go. Step, take the wheel off. Um, next thing, you're going to remove the brake caliper. So these are, I believe, 15 millimeter. Um, that bolt right there. And then there's one down here too. Um, so I'll go ahead and remove those. And then we'll hang the caliper uh, up here so that we don't damage the uh, brake line. If that's long enough, just zip tie it around one of the spring coils. I got that. Got that zip tied up. Next step, you gotta remove your uh, cotter pin here. Uh, bend that up, pull that out, remove your nut. Then you'll be able to pull this hub off. This, uh, I think it's a uh, one and an eighth on the nut, I believe. And so, took that cotter pin and the nut off. You just pull that off, set this down somewhere. I recommend like on the tire or something. That way you're not damaging your rotor or the threads of the lugs. Okay, next step is to remove the uh, tie rod. Um, so it is, I believe, an 18 millimeter. And then once we remove that, and both of these, top and bottom, upper control arm, lower control arm, uh, those are 15 again on both sides. So you remove that and then the A arm should pop off. Uh, we'll slide out of both ends. Okay. All right, so we removed that. That was an 18. Now we're gonna move the uh, upper and lower control arm. This is a 15 on both sides. A little PB blaster when it hurts sometimes. All right. So um, you got pulled your... those bolts out. Um, it's giving me a little problems trying to pull them out because you should just be able to lift them up. Probably been in there a while. So just take your dead blow hammer and you should be able to smack it out. Probably remove the bottom first. <laughs> All right. So just a couple little wax, and then the bottom will be out. Well, since it's loose, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back and put the bolt so I can use it to hold. Okay, now all this crud in here you want to clean all this out because you don't want that in in there now we're going to do some more cleaning once the bearing is out but uh might as well get it out now okay all right so after you get that cleaned up a little bit uh you'll see that there is a uh, uh snap ring snap ring yeah. in there so get some snap ring pliers and pull that snap ring out uh we picked these up at O'Reilly's. Very nice. 20 bucks. Oh. 
boom. Oh. Okay, after you uh, get the uh, snap ring out, uh, go ahead and clean it again. Get all that extra gunk out because this surface is what the new and old bearing are going to be sliding on. So you don't want to damage any of that surface. And he's spraying it out. That's just brake clean. Okay. Okay, cleaning all the gunk. Yeah. Never hurts. Never hurts. Get it out of your way, people. Okay, so it's going to slide out through the back here. So since this bearing's trash, we're not worried about it. So I'm literally going to take this. No. No. There's a bigger. Oh, down on the ground. Socket. It's on the ground. I think. No. Oh, the so so that right socket? The no. No. There's a bigger one. All right, people. As you can see, it's getting dark. It's dark outside and we're losing stuff. I'm going to take <laughs> this big socket here. Stick that in here and I'm going to beat it out. Okay. So... This is a junk hitch. Junk hitch. And this moves this moves up and down uh, quite a bit. So you're able to just use the ball. It's kind of our way to redneck press it up. Do what you got to do with what you got. Yeah. So I am going to heat this. Uh, map gas. This is the front hub. So it is steel. So, or, yeah, it's steel. Um, so I'll be fine. I'm pretty sure on these the rear is aluminum, so I don't know that I would use map gas. Maybe uh, the regular propane or whatever, or, or butane. Um, yeah, so here we go. Okay, well, I've like was heating it, and I just gave it a handful of good wax. As you can see. Remember this is junk hitch, so if you do that, make sure you do it with a junk one. Yeah. Because it's gonna mess it up. Uh, um, we jacked the back of the truck up with its weight sitting on top of the bearing. Uh, this was sitting on the jack, and when he was smacking this, it was just kept driving it down with its weight. So it worked out pretty good. Took maybe 10 hits, and it was out. Uh, three pound sledge. Okay, put a Two by four under there and give it a couple more hits. This is gonna be really hot. Yeah, it's gonna be a little warm. Boom. Bearing's Bearing. out. Bearing's out now. Get all this junk in here. Clean it cleaned up. up. We're gonna take a, a little wire brush on a Dremel. And we're gonna just clean it up. Clean all this nastiness out. He's getting that all cleaned up. Nice and pretty in there. Okay, so the inside. Oh, it may have been nice and clean. A little too far, yeah. Oh, lip down there is a little dirty. We might touch that up a little bit. But that's all we used. Just the Dremel. Wire brush. With the wire brush. Do not use anything crazy abrasive or you're going to cause problems. You're just cleaning it up. You're not trying to get rid of material. Yep. So here's what I'm doing. I'm heating this up. Trying to get the inside and the outside, trying to get it nice and hot. Um, Don't mind the Yeah, uh, it'll be fine. It's just added heat. Anyways, um, once we get this nice and hot, uh, what we didn't tell you is the bearings are in the freezer. They've been in the freezer for about a couple hours now. So uh, he's gonna grab that, and then I'm gonna use an old bearing. He's gonna take that bearing and set it in there. Best case scenario, he drops the bearing in and it slides in majority of the way. Uh, and then the rest of the way, we're going to press it up. Making sure I get all the way around here. Even heat. Hopefully, he sets that thing in there and it just kind of falls in. So when the bearing's in the freezer, it shrinks it. And me heating this is expanding the metal. And when the, this cools down and the other one warms up, they'll fit right snug together.
There we go. All right, go ahead, Adam. Oh. Friggin' hot. Friggin' hot. What I have here is an old outer race. I'm trying to get this lined up here. An old outer race on top of the new one. And then it's lined up perfectly. So it's not touching the inside. And he's jacking it up. And once you get pressure, then you can jack a little more. Oh, oh stop. Okay. Um, of course, we forgot to film. Um, getting it centered and everything. But uh, we got it pressed in there. And... Uh, we just use the bottom of that ball to push and then once uh, we got enough pressure on it, we took the hammer, sludge hammer, we smacked it and it went right down in. Uh, and of course, got to film, but um, it's in. Nice and pretty. Clean it up a little bit more because I, went, I got ahead of myself. I went over there to put it back on, and uh, I was like, oh, crap, I need the snap ring in. So don't forget to put your snap ring in, and then uh, go over there and start putting it back together. So when you're putting this back together, uh, put the bottom on first. Um, and the reason why I say that is I tried to put it on the top first, and I couldn't get the axle in it when I was trying to smack it with my dead blow up on here. I couldn't get the axle in it. I mean, if you can do it at the same time, put the axle in first and then slide it up, yeah, you can do that. But um, down here, how it's hanging, you can literally just pick it up and it falls right in. And then I'll do the top. Okay, after you put everything back together, I mean, you took it apart, you should know how to put it back together. Um, you're gonna wanna get this. It's a, uh, Let's see here. Tiger tool. Uh, let me see here. I'll put a part number in the description below. And this is to grease the bearing. I've got it inserted in there. Um, and you don't want to pack these uh, too much. Um, you're just adding a little bit more. There is a little bit of grease in them. Uh, not a whole lot. Um, uh, maybe, I'm gonna guess anywhere between like eight, uh, it depends on your grease gun, not, not every grease gun's the same. Um, I'm gonna guess around eight or ten, you should hear the air to start to escape. Um, that should be about done. So, um, you don't want the grease to come out of the bearing, then that's too full, then you've got the friction, uh, causing more wear. Um, it's hard to give you an exact number. Um, you're just gonna kinda have to give it a feel and see what is best. Don't don't let it come out of the bearing. All right, um, so we got everything back together. It's good to go. Uh, hopefully that video, that light's really bright. <laughs> hopefully that video helped you guys out. Uh, I know there's a whole bunch of other videos, but it's just how we use to press it since we didn't have a press. Um, yeah make sure to subscribe like comment don't hurt yourself like adam did yeah uh anyways see you guys next time bye, bye.